My name is Bryce Anderson, a worship leader here at YWAM Kona, and I was a part of a team that wrote the song Story to Tell, and we're here to talk about that. Was dead, now I am alive. I cannot keep me inside. I've got a story to tell. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Was dead, now hey. We have a thing here at YWAM Kona called Ministry Night, where we take about two hours and worship Jesus and minister to one another. And in the, in the middle of our ministry night, there was a strong focus on the gospel and what God's done in transforming our lives. Um, and just thinking about how much God has done from bringing us from death to life. And so in that moment, I was getting hit again with the revelation, like, oh my gosh, I was dead. Now I'm alive. That's kind of a big deal. Sometimes for myself, in walking out my Christianity, I can forget that that's kind of crazy. And it's not just about all the stuff that I do or that I don't do, but I deserve hell and God saved me from it. So out of that came that one, that little phrase, I've got a story to tell. I've got a story to tell. My God, he saved me from hell. I've got a story to tell. In songwriting, I love seeing God's value for unity and the body working together. So for this song, it started off with an idea um, that a friend and I were, were working on. We created this chorus, but then I didn't know what to do with it. So I had some other friends that came along, and as a team then, we could finish the thing, um, which to me is such a beautiful picture of what God loves in His body is that you do have a piece, but you can't finish it without other people. And so I would encourage anyone in a creative process to walk out those inspirations and ideas, but there might be some people around you that have the missing puzzle pieces to make it what it truly could be. In looking at some of these verses, we just wanted to kind of describe the power of what the gospel did. From the darkness and the depravity of the, of death without Jesus to the power and the glory of the life that he's given us through the gospel. And so looking at some of these verses, I've got a savior, he's the only one that actually saves. When all other lovers left me in the grave. And I just got this picture of being in the grave, life without Jesus, and every other thing that I tried to find some sort of connection with, some sort of salvation with, they all just left me there. They left me in the grave. That's one of my favorite lines just because it's such, a, such an intense mental image of being left in the grave. And then also looking at this verse two, death defined power, how could I be ashamed? His love like a fire cannot be contained. So realizing again, if I have a testimony of being dead, now I'm alive, how could I keep that to myself? Why would I not tell someone the most insane thing that ever happened to me? And so that's kind of where some of this song comes from, is the power of the cross and the resurrection and what that's done for me. When I think about my life, I think about a season where I was tormented and depressed and didn't know what way was up. And God took me out of that. He shined his light over my life where I could see what was a lie, what was truth. And he put hope into my spirit. He gave me purpose into what I was called for and that's the power of God. I was dead, now I'm alive, and I've got a story to tell. What I feel like some of these words and melodies put together has done is to give people a chance to realize that there is power in their story. Not because our brokenness is so special or that we've done something so special, but that the power of God is really special. The story that you have to share is the key that's gonna unlock someone's life. And there are some people that are waiting to hear your story that are currently in bondage, currently don't know Jesus, currently in darkness, that your story has the power to unlock. So don't keep quiet. Don't keep your story to yourself. Don't think it's not that big a deal because what God has done in your life is a big deal and that story needs to be told so that it can bring other people out from their darkness and into the powerful light and freedom that Jesus has given you and that he wants to give them too.